I am the guy that created this museum, and I'm very glad you guys came. Um, what you're about to witness is one of the oldest of sideshow arts, that sword swallowing. Uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to take this blade, I'm going to place it upon my lips. I'm going to lower it down my throat, between my lungs. I'm going to nudge the heart to the side, and then it's going to drop into the stuff's cavity itself. Now, when a sword swallower does this, they take a chance of severing their larynx, puncturing their lung, or stomach, which will lead to death. Thank you for your concern. <laughs> You're too late. You lost your chance. All right. Is that for you? Uh, you never know. <laughs> Somebody could out their phone and just have that one on right. Now, the curator of George the Giant's Strange Museum of Oddity, who am I kidding? It's my museum, uh, tells me I have to tell you this. What I do is real. What I do is dangerous. What I do, real dangerous. If you attempt anything that you see me do today, you can and probably will hurt yourself. Kids, I don't want to see that happen. Don't do it. Adults, eh. <laughs> it's natural selection at work. If you want to be Darwin's little helper, have fun. All right. Now, this is extremely dangerous. In fact, one of my friends, while performing in Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania, at the Sideshow Gathering, punctured his lung. Another individual I know, while performing in New York, punctured her stomach lining. And I myself, while performing at Ripley's in Hollywood, punctured my esophagus. I ended up in the hospital for five days. This is real. It is dangerous. I tell you that not to make me look stupid that I'm still doing I mean brave that I still do it. I tell you so you know not to do this yourself. I am a professional idiot. Don't be an idiot. Court low. <laughs> now, uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, my little spinner doing her fire. She's one of my favorite daughters. She's the only one I got from the gypsies. Some people say potatoes, some people say kidnapping. It's whatever you think. Um, please, if you enjoy what you see inside, let people know. Even though this is the last night, I am going to bring this back hopefully next year. I'm going to be adding more stuff, um, and if you didn't like it, shut up. I don't need the negativity, I'm sorry, keep it to yourself. Who really thinks it's your job to tell everyone how horrible something is? What happened to your mom saying, can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all? At all. Oh, right. Sorry, my rant. Some little lady, went, some girl went on to uh, three different sites and said how horrible my site was. I'm like, it's fun, that's all that matters. Uh, enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to leave this with a quote that I, I've been doing for the last two weeks now. Uh, there was a man named Ward Hall, who was a sideshow legend, who just passed away. He had a museum. People asked him, is this museum real? And he told them, everything in my museum is real. Some of it's real real, some of it's real fake. But it's all real interesting. And that's what I believe in my museum. Everything is kind of cool. Trust me, there's some stuff there that you're going to look at and go, oh, I could maybe do that. And other things you're going to look at and go, yeah, that would never be in my house. And that's okay, because it's all in mine. So thank you very much. George, are you...